and all and my fans, welcome back. Appreciate all the support, appreciate all your viewership. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button at some point during this video. Also, if you'd like, please do give us a like and a comment. Um, we're back again this time. We've got a couple newer balls. We've got a couple symmetric pieces today. Uh, a couple purple balls, uh, the Hammer Web, and also the brand new track, Triton Elite as well. Um, these are both symmetric cores. They're pretty similar in terms of overall strength characteristics. I've got them drilled somewhat similarly, but I did do a different pin distance. On the web, I've got a five inch pin distance, where on the Triton Elite, I have a four inch, a higher flaring drill on that particular ball. I'm planning on trying to do something a little different. If you've seen our videos in the past, we kind of have some shots and maybe a little bit of talking and some more shots. This time we're going to do a little more of a continuous. I'm going to bowl six real frames with each ball and kind of maybe give you a little bit of uh, commentary in between what, what I'm seeing and how I like them and what I'm planning on doing with these balls. So I'll go ahead and I'll throw some shots starting off with the Triton Elite and we'll take it from there. We're going on a house pattern that does have some traffic on it, so there's some, some friction in the track for sure. It's a little bit wet dry right now. I like the Triton Elite, that four inch pin, I think revs up, but a little bit higher flaring uh, drill for me. So it kind of blends out these wet dry situations where if you get it to the friction a little quick, it still kind of revs up, slows down, and doesn't go sideways down the lane, which is nice. With that symmetric core, you can kind of see it gives you a kind of a smooth arcing kind of transition where it's kind of a smoother move. It's not a quick, a quick uh, standing up on the dry. It does kind of just give you that nice little controlled arc, which is what suits my eye very well. You can see I, I drill a lot of low pins because I just like that, that arky kind of rolly look. This is right in my wheelhouse for sure. I'm going to move one or two right. I'm kind of seeing it squirting a little bit. Yeah, I mean, if you can get those swisher hits, you're living like you're living well. Listen you know, these hoss patterns. If you don't have to go high flush every time to strike, that's certainly a bonus. Got a touch for heavy and it just kind of set up and rolled perfect. Now these balls come surface prep, both of them. It's a 500 2000 process and I, I did try to retouch them. I've been kind of using them a little bit in league to kind of get a feel for them and I tried to retouch them to bring them back to close to that original box finish again, which is what you're seeing right now. way of rewarding you sometimes. I thought that was the best of the bunch and of course that's the one that doesn't strike. I don't know if you can get a, a decent shot of uh, the flare on this thing with that four inch pin. Definitely a few inches of flare which is more than what I'm used to. I, I've been seeing a lot of guys throwing urethane in my league sessions these days and uh, I've been having a hard time getting the ball to set up in the mid lane the way that I want it to sometimes with my five and five and a half, six inch pins where the flare separation is very tight. So I thought I would try something that maybe gets a little bit more cover to interact with the lane and it definitely sees the mid lane the way I want it to a little bit better. I think that was a good idea for that type of application. Covered it. 
All right, I believe this is number six here with the Triton Elite. I'll move in a little bit more. I'll kind of bend it a little bit more. I've kind of been playing this one angle a little bit. We'll scooch in and maybe give this ball a chance to show what, what show us what he can do a little more. We'll plot his own in the half. Kind of gave that one a little bit more room than I expected I was going to, and yeah, I mean that four-inch pin with that flare just kind of picks up, and it really does change directions. It's not that hard, crazy sideways motion that a, a polished pearl kind of gives you, but it does come off the spot pretty well with a four-inch pin. I'm pretty impressed with this ball, and I've uh, I've already kind of had a little bit of success with it, and I'm excited to see what it can do for me. So that's one ball for sure that I'm I'm looking forward to uh, getting even more games on and more experience with. And we'll switch over to the five inch pin web here. I'll go back to where I kind of was with the Triton a little bit more just to start, give a comparison of how they're a little different. Now to me, believe it or not, I think the uh, the web has just a slightly stronger cover. At least with surface, it feels that way. It, it seems like it picks up just a little earlier, and the core really wants to rev up and get into a bit more of a tumble. It's a very smooth ball, very arky, but uh, one that I found a lot of use for already. that's just got that stronger earlier reading kind of motion that was a surprise brought my eyes in a little too close and paid for it. make a tiny move we'll make an adjustment off of that that four inch pin Triton Elite, it uh, picked up a lot of oil and was already starting to kind of develop the mid lane in that one little spot. So unfortunately I didn't see it quick enough. It's the kind of stuff the pros do not make that mistake. They see it happening and they're all over it. They don't waste those frames. See if I can make sure I feed it to the right of the tracer. Give it a chance to see the friction a little bit more than that. Give this ball a chance to show what it can do a little more side to side. The two could cover a few boards as well. definitely what we're looking for there. Just that smooth, continuous 
Ball just picks up, runs it back, kind of in the place you want it to, right in the mid lane. Revs up, it just kind of leads off and gives you a really nice controlled arcing motion. Pushing 10 pins straight back, that's what you want. You know, you don't want to have to live on pin action if you can avoid it. You want to just push them straight back. I know it's kind of boring. You don't get the exciting messengers going across the lane, but that's repeatable pin action. That's what you're looking for. Keep them low and push them back. This one was pretty easy for me to shoot because I love these two balls. I mean, they're just, they're exactly what I like. They're benchmark balls, they're arky, they're continuous, they're smooth, medium speed transition, they're not quick. They're not too slow or you can still get around the, the pattern a little bit, cover a few boards. They're, they're everything I like in benchmark balls. So for me, these are two that fit right in the bag very naturally. Balls I intend to use on a lot of different patterns. These can cover a lot of ground for me. Short, medium, and long, depending on volume. And I definitely will plan having these in the bag when I go to USBC Nationals in May. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said before, feel free to give us a like. If you have any questions or anything you'd like to comment on, I'd love to hear it. So please, folks. And enjoy once again. We'll look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.